how to sell your expertise. You're an expert in a field. You know a lot about a subject. An important meeting is coming up with a client and you just can't wait to demonstrate your knowledge. You prepare an amazing slide deck and give a dynamic presentation. But the audience doesn't seem impressed at all. What could have gone wrong? To find the answer, let's watch a clip from the movie Titanic in which an expert explains the sinking of the ship to a woman who was actually there when it happened. Okay, here we go. She hits the berg on the starboard side, right? She kind of bumps along, punching holes like Morse code, dit, 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 along the side, below the water line. All right, all right. The guy is so much focused on the screen that he doesn't pay enough attention to his audience. And I, and I see this mistake all the time with presenters. They fall in love with their visuals, they just look at the screen and they completely ignore the audience. Why is it a problem? Because you have to see the reactions of your audience. And this way it will be very, very hard for this expert. Let's see how the clip continues. Then the forward compartments start to flood. Now as the water level rises, it spills over the watertight bulkheads, which unfortunately don't go any higher than E-deck. So now as the bow goes down, the stern rises up, slow at first and faster and faster until finally she's got her whole ass is sticking up in the air. All right. He is getting very enthusiastic, okay? No problem with the passion there. The problem is that his passion is self-absorbed. He's not focusing on, on the audience. Basically, it sounds like, look how cool I am to have done something so impressive. And the lady is getting turned off. You can see it from her facial expression. It's gonna get worse. And that's a big ass. We're talking 20, 30,000 tons, okay? And the hole's not designed to deal with that pressure. So what happens? She splits right down to the keel and the stern falls back level. She leans back. Titanic starts going down to the bottom of the ocean. Can you imagine how dramatic this moment could have been for her? And the expert is just explaining, explaining, explaining with no consideration for the audience's reactions and feelings. Then as the bow sinks, it pulls the stern vertical and then finally detaches. Now the stern section just kind of bobs there like a cork for a couple of minutes, floods and finally goes under about 2.20 a.m., two hours and 40 minutes after the collision. She's uh, upset now. You can see from her facial expression and also from her breathing. She doesn't like it. For her, it's not just a computer graphic. For her, it's her life and the expert just does not take it into consideration. Let's see how it ends. The bow section planes away, landing about a half a mile away, going 20, 30 knots when it hits the ocean floor. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Thank you for that fine forensic analysis, Mr. Bodine. Fine forensic analysis, meaning cold, heartless, and completely lacking empathy. What is the lesson here? People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. If you share your expertise, first you need to connect to your audience. You need to show them that you care. And only after that can you impart your knowledge. I made a video earlier about how to start a speech in that spirit. You'll find the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the tips helpful and want more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have questions or if you want me to analyze a clip just like the one from Titanic, let me know in the comments below. Thank you and see you soon. Mm -hmm.